Hello viewers, this is Dao Too Fast here. Now several years ago I installed a backup parking sensor on this Honda Odyssey. At that time I did not make a video on the installation of that system. And the system has worked quite well over the years. However, recently one of the sensors on the right side seemed to be defective. It's going off all the time. So in today's video, I'm going to take off the rear bumper and go through the installation steps to show you how it's installed. And instead of replacing just one sensor, I will be replacing the entire system simply because these parking sensor kits are quite inexpensive. So I might as well just install all new parts. Before I begin, let me quickly show you the issue I'm having. So the issue I'm having with the old sensor is the right side is always going off. Let's have a quick look at the four sensors installed on the rear bumper. There's one right here, two in the middle, and one more on this side. So let's start by removing the rear bumper. Open up your rear hatch and pull up on the weather stripping. Next we'll remove this inside panel that's in the cargo area. It's held in by clips all around the inside and also at the top right here. There are also two plastic knobs that you need to remove on either side. Once you have released all the inside clips, then pull this panel straight up and then you'll be able to remove it. Now remove these two plastic caps. Remove the two 10 millimeter bolts right here. Do the same thing on the other side. Now if you look underneath the bumper, there are a couple of plastic clips you need to remove. There's one here, another one over here. On each side of the rear bumper, there are three screws you need to remove. Two of them are on the rear mud flap. One is here, the other one's here. And there's a third screw that's at the top right here. Go ahead and remove all three of these screws. Now there are clips all along this top edge of the bumper. So carefully pull this outward and release those clips. And here's a look at the top edge of the bumper. Now the bumper will come off. So let me show you the sensors looking at it from the inside of the bumper. And you'll see the wiring running over to the driver's side. And it goes into this grommet right here. Go ahead and remove the cover for the jack and also the cover for the spare tire. So here's where I installed the parking sensor module. I'm going to go ahead and remove all the old parts and then proceed to install the new parts. Here's a look at the new backup sensor kit. These are the four sensors that gets installed onto the bumper. For my white car, I got this white color one. Uh, this is the display module that you install in your vehicle. And it'll beep and also have LED display to show you the proximity of the object. This is the control module. And this is the power wire. And it also comes with a drill bit that you'll be using to drill the hole for the sensor. Since I don't need to keep the old parts, I'm going to go ahead and cut these wires. The old sensor can be removed by simply pushing it out from the inside. Now because I'm reinstalling the backup sensor, I've already drilled a hole for the sensor. If this is a new install, you need to use the hole saw that came with the kit and drill out the hole. After you drill the hole, then you pass a wire through this hole and install the sensor. Now one important thing you need to check before drilling the hole is the clearance behind the bumper. The sensor is not very big, but you still want to make sure there's no obstruction behind it so you'll be able to install the sensor without any problem. Now before you insert the sensor into the hole, if you look on the back, it's marked up. So there is a direction to how you install this. Make sure the up is facing upward. 
and just push this in. Now the sensor is held in by four rubber tabs on the side. So you might need to get a flathead screwdriver and carefully press those rubber tabs in. And while pressing it in, pull the sensor in from the inside. So seat in properly. And go ahead and install the rest of the sensors. Here's a look at the inside. I went ahead and taped down the wire so it's more organized. All the way over to the driver's side. Now for each of the sensor cable, you do need to mark the end A, B, C, D because they need to be plugged into the control module in a certain order. A is going to be your driver's side, B and C are your middle ones, D is going to be the passenger side. So going from left to right. Feed all the wires through the grommet and then bring the wires into the vehicle. At this time we can reinstall the bumper. Now if you look at the wiring harness for the power, there are two wires on this. One is black, one is red. The black wire needs to be connected to the chassis ground and the red wire connects to the backup light. So the control module gets turned on when you put the car in reverse. Now for this installation, I'm going to use the existing wire that I already have. It's the same connector and the wires are already connected to the ground and the backup light. Now on this Honda Odyssey, it's very easy to locate the reverse light wire. On the driver's side panel right here, if you open this up, you'll see a white connector in here that's not connected to anything. There's a green wire that you need to tap. That's your reverse light wire. Here's a look at that white connector. As you can see, I tapped into that green wire that's on this connector, and that'll give you 12 volt when the car is in reverse. Below that green connector, if you look down, there is a grounding bolt. That's a 10 millimeter bolt, and that's where you connect the chassis ground. Now, of course, not all vehicles are going to be this easy to locate the reverse light wire. But if you're working on a different vehicle, you may need to run the wire directly to the backup light bulb where you have the light bulb socket and the wire. Now, here's where I mounted the old display and it's next to the rear cargo light. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the old one. And what you want to do is remove the lens cover for the rear cargo lights. Then remove the two Phillips screw that's holding the light fixture. So right now I'm running the wire for the new display. Now I've chosen to place the display module right in this position. You don't have to put it in the back. As you can see the cable length is very long. So it allows you to run this display module all the way to the front of the vehicle if you want to. But for me, I like it in this position because when you look in the rear view mirror, you can also see the display facing the driver. Now to mount this to the headliner, just use the double side tape that came with the unit and you don't have to drill any holes, just stick this right onto the headliner. Now run this wire along the edge down to the reverse sensor module. With all the wires run to this location, we can now connect them to the backup sensor control module. First one is the power connector. Next one over is the display module. Here are the four sensor wires. And remember earlier, we marked it A, B, C, and D. So on the module, A plugs into here, followed by B, C, and D. And that's it. These are all the connections you'll need for the parking sensor. The last thing is I'll get some double-sided tape and tape the control module 
to the inside surface right here. We'll wrap this up by putting all the panels back together. And here's a look with the new sensors installed. Here's a quick test. So here I'm going to do another test where I walk up to the back of the vehicle and as I get closer, you hear the chirping get faster and faster until the chirping becomes constant. Well, I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you're thinking about installing your own backup sensor on your vehicle, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. As you can see, the installation is not too difficult. The only tough part is some people are not comfortable with drilling into their own bumpers. But if you take it to a shop and pay someone else to do it, they'll be doing the same thing. They're going to drill into your bumper and install these sensors. As I mentioned earlier in the video, these parking sensors are not very expensive. I'll include the links in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comments section. And don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.